How could a missed free throw in a gym outside Winston-Salem, North Carolina, qualify as one of this year's most memorable shots? Maybe because this free throw tells a story about the respect and affection that two men shared. I felt my granddad was my biggest fan. I'd go out to the service station to see him, and you know, he'd just be, uh, he's always bragging on me and my brother about how good we were, and he just, he just made me feel different. As the star point guard and senior class president at West Forsyth High School, Chris Paul had plenty of people in his corner, but no one meant more to him than his grandfather, 61-year-old service station owner Nathaniel Jones. He's been running the service station for years, and he would let his customers know if I had a game, I'm closing up early to go see my grandson play. For Chris and his family, November 14th was one of the happiest days of their lives. The day Chris accepted a full basketball scholarship to nearby Wake Forest. I had my friends from school, some of my teachers, uh, my coach, my teammates. My brother came home for the signing, my mom and dad, and my granddad was here to see me sign. He was so happy. Um, he and Chris had already been out buying Wake Forest gear. <laughs> so he and Chris had already talked about, you know, after he signs, my dad was going to take his Wake Forest hat off and hand it to Chris. And that's exactly what happened. So that Wake Forest hat that Chris is wearing in that, that shot? That's, that's my dad's hat. hat. Exactly. I mean, it gives me cold chills when I think back to it mm -hmm. now because, um, when you think about it, that was the last time we was all together. Me, my husband, both of my boys, and my dad. Mm -hmm. That was the last time we was all together. The very next day, November 15th, Chris was at a high school football game when a cousin told him shocking news. His grandfather had been found murdered. We went to my granddad's house, and I didn't want to believe it. And all I wanted to do when I get out of the car was see my granddad, and they wouldn't let me. I just, you know, everybody has to die, but I just thought that my granddad was one of those people who never would, never would. Still grieving days later, Chris seized on a plan to honor his grandfather in his next game by scoring one point for every year of his grandfather's life, all 61 of them. The first thought was, how can I go out there on that court knowing my granddad's not there? And my aunt mentioned before I, before I went to the parking game, she said, how about 61 points for your granddad? And I just thought to myself, you know, that would be lovely. And I just thought to myself, ain't no way I could do that. But staying within the flow of the game, without most people, including his parents, knowing what he had planned, Chris scored 24 points in the second quarter alone. Now this is one of the times that I just felt there's no way that I don't care what kind of defense you play, who you put in front of me, there's no way you're going to stop me from getting that goal. The whole guy is just thinking about my granddad, just thinking, you know, he's in heaven, he's watching this game. He's watching this game. Every time somebody hits me to the floor, he's up there jumping out of his seat, getting angry. And then as the course of the game went on, I said, I can do this. By the end of the third quarter, West Forsyth had the game wrapped up. Word began to spread through the crowd about Chris's remarkable tribute. I think I heard some of the children talking about it, but I didn't believe it. I mean, you know, 61 points, come on. You know, that's just almost unreal. So I didn't believe it. Coach asked me how many did he need. I'm like, what? And he looked at me like, don't you know? And I was like, <laughs> what are you talking about? He said, nothing. Mm -hmm. There towards the end, when we got to um, 56, they turned around, one of the kids turned around and said, Miss Polly only needs five, and that's when I started getting nervous because I really wanted to, him to achieve it at that point. With less than two minutes to go in the game, Chris had scored 59 points. Then he drove to the hoop, took a hard foul, and the shot dropped. He had his 61. And I laid it up, and I got fouled, and it went in. And I just, I laid there for a second and was just overwhelmed because I knew that at this moment in time, this is something I'll never forget. It felt like I could have just died and went to heaven right there. It felt like... Like my purpose for being here was almost over. His total left him just six points away from the state record for most points in a game. But as he walked to the foul line, that didn't matter. 61 did. I walked to the free throw line. The referee gave me the ball and shot an air ball right out of bounds. And my coach took me out. I just looked at my dad and started crying. It's like he just, everything came out of him. He just walked over to me 
and gave me a hug, and he just fell in my arms, and that's when I just, it just tore me up, you know, because of what he had just done. It's one thing, I think, to talk about it, but it's another thing to, to do it and to achieve it, you know. Yeah, my sister had talked to him about it, but for him to be able to go out there with that in mind, I want to do this for my grandfather, for my best friend, and to be able to achieve it, that's just... I believe it makes me stronger, but it's it's so hard because um, we're still getting through it now. My granddad did so, so much for our family that it's unreal. It's almost, it's hard to go on right now. I'm thankful for my granddad and I'll never forget him, ever. <laughs>